Idaho death row inmate Thomas Creech's execution is moving forward. We're at the people's house of Idaho, and the power of government to take a human life is the one thing that none of us here want to give the government. So many faith organizations, civil rights organizations, and individual Idahoans are here standing in opposition to this execution. Life is not ours to take or to end. We stand here once again to protest the action of the state and its use of the barbaric system of the death penalty. We're now in the Idaho State Capitol. We're going to go into the governor's office, ask to be heard, and share our petition and our demand that they halt this execution. It's just amazing the number of people that have come out in support at uh, various churches and elsewhere. We we'll hope to have a really good turnout tomorrow, to, uh, um, our last chance to oppose the execution of Thomas Creek. I'm a clergy in the United Methodist Church, and this morning I'm gathered with a group of uh, clergy and laity to protest the execution of Thomas Creech. This didn't solve anything. This didn't help anything. Um, just thinking today of all the victims and just praying for the whole process. First, I'd like to express my uh, deep gratitude for Abe and Suzanne for coming out and organizing us and helping us to um, get our heads around what this means in our society and in our community. So death penalty action comes wherever we need to go to support local abolitionists who want to stand up and lift their voices to oppose executions. It's an honor for us to have groups like the ACLU and the United Methodist Church and others ask us to come and help them. Uh, and, and that's what we do. We help lift up the voices of people who want to say no to executions.